<laughs> Tris, you have had my heart since the day that we first met. From the first time we spoke to each other, I knew that there was something different about you. I just had to get to know. Your stunning green eyes, your radiant smile, your contagious laugh, coupled with your effortlessly joyful personality, your abounding grace, and your dedication to living your life to the fullest and making the most of every small moment. You bring vibrance to an often colorless world. We have often talked about the fruit of the spirit in Galatians 5. Love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I'm confident in saying that you just have exhibited these fruits more consistently than anybody I've ever met. The way you love your family and friends, joyfully live your life, are patient in your afflictions, are kind to strangers, cling to what is good, are faithful to God, are gentle in your humility, and tenacious in your goals. God has blessed you with these gifts, and your dedication to exhibiting these and every single interaction you have makes me fall so deeply in love with you. You are not a lamp to be hidden. You're a light that needs to shine. The Lord has been kind enough to let our paths cross and intertwine, something for which I am forever grateful for because my heart overflows with joy every second I get to be around you. I am hopelessly and madly in love with you, and I will be for the rest of my life. You make me excited to live life every day and inspire me to bring light to others. Although we have been on many adventures together already, I cannot wait to go on this adventure called life with you. Trust, I vow to love you just as Christ loved the church, giving myself fully and exclusively to you in every way. I vow to love you and only you. I vow to protect you, to nurture you, to brighten your life, and never to dim it. I vow to be with you through every season of our lives for the rest of our lives. Dustin, on October 28, 2017, only a month or so after we first met, we were driving in the car together and Sparks Fly by Taylor Swift came on. <laughs> he said, this song reminds me of you because of your green eyes, and then proceeded to sing every single word at the top of your lungs. <laughs> I knew in that moment that I either needed to run or I needed to keep you for forever. <laughs> I'm so glad that I decided to keep you for forever. You care so deeply and genuinely. You are patient and forgiving, and you are never afraid to be yourself, and you serve God in all your actions. I love all that you are, and am proud to be standing beside you now and for the rest of our lives. Today, tomorrow, and forever, I vow to make the most of our moments together and laugh often. I vow to pray with you and for you each day. I vow to stand by you, encourage you, and comfort you in all seasons of life. And lastly, I vow to sing as loudly and as often as we can in the car because I know you love that. Here's to forever. I love you. By the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and according to the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Because these are